Hi guys, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys an anti-haul. So for those who don't know what an anti-haul is, it's basically a video of me showing you products that I will not be buying for some reason or another. So if I think it's overpriced or if I just think there's so many of them on the market or whatever it is, I'll be sharing with that with you guys that today. I kind of just went on to Sephora US, Ulta and also Mecca and I kind of just saw the new products that were coming out and I was just kind of like, ugh. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So if you'd like to see what I will not be buying, then just keep watching. So the very first thing that I will not be getting is the Ciate London Glitter Flips. Basically they're like a liquid lipstick that you apply and then you like rub your lips together like this. And then like it's just glitter. I just, I don't find that very appealing. And like, it's not like it's like a cheap, like a drugstore brand where it's like, oh, it's only a few dollars and like, it's kind of like a cool gimmick for like costume parties and stuff. Like this is already like 20 bucks in the US. So I'm going to guess it's going to be at least like $30 in Australia. And like for something to be like glittery on my lips, I just, it's just not my style personally. I just really like matte liquid lips or like a glossy creamy lip. I don't really like glitter on my lips. I don't know. I just feel like it's something that I don't need in my life and it's definitely something that I don't need to spend the money on. The next thing that I will not ever get purely for the price is the Pat McGrath, are they called Mothership palettes? I will not be getting that. Like $125 for one palette, man. Like I think that's just like a little bit too expensive for like eyeshadow. Like I'm sure you're getting good quality eyeshadows. I'm looking at my phone, but it's just like, I'm not paying 125 bucks for like a few eyeshadows. Like, no, that's way too expensive. Bah. And I'm also not going to be getting the Pat McGrath Lux Trance lipsticks. I just, I don't, I just don't like bullet lipsticks anymore. And I feel like 38 American dollars is a bit high for me. Um, especially when you can get like a MAC lipstick in Australia for $36 and that's like already overpriced. I don't know. I guess you're getting quality, but it's just not like it's too much for me to spend on a product. So I'm going to give that a pass. Another product that I'm going to give a pass, and I'm so, I'm so, so sorry that I don't have the name, but I'll link it down below, is this new Tarte palette that's coming out. Now, I think it's a really, really pretty palette, and I think if it wasn't set out this way, I'd probably buy it. But it's this palette here, and it just gives me OCD. Like, why is it just heaps of circles that interchange with each other? Like, it literally gives me OCD how it's all, like, mixed. I just don't like it. Sorry. Another thing that I won't be getting is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna kilowatt style highlighter the yellow one i feel like a lot of people are raving about the yellow one recently especially since they came out but like it's just like too yellow for my skin tone and i've been seeing people with like my skin tone wear it like i'm probably about an nc 37 when i'm fake tan which is like now and like it's just it's too like i think the other ones in the collection are really really beautiful and i think that another skin tone would really, really suit it. But just for my skin tone, I just, I don't think it would work. I really like like champagne highlighters, like the one I have on today, like really, really beaming, like kind of looks natural-ish. It's like realistic, like, you know, but I just think it's too yellow for me, too yellow. Another thing that I won't be getting is from Natasha Denona. And it's the same thing as the Pat McGrath eyeshadows. I will not be getting the Lila eyeshadow palette. I just think it's way too much money for the amount of shadows that you get. Like it's 130 US dollars. Yeah, you're getting quality shadows, but like, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do makeup for fun. I feel like Makeup Geek shadows are just as good or ColourPop and they're like $6 a piece instead of like $130 for like this palette where you can't even choose it yourself. So yeah. Another thing that I won't be getting is this Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. It's just the packaging for me, man. Like it's like a big eyebrow and I just don't like the packaging. Like why could you not just have one side with the light, one side with the dark. I really love me a good brow powder and I feel like Benefit does make good brow products, but just this packaging creeps me out. Like just, it's creepy. I don't know why. It's just really creepy to me. I honestly, like last night I had a dream and it was about this product and I literally thought it was made up. And then I went on Ulta's website and I was like, oh, it's real. <laughs> but, oh, it just like, I just, I don't like looking at it as an eyebrow. 
another palette that I will not be getting. And there are so many palettes coming out, by the way. I never realized how many palettes were coming out until now. But another palette that I will not be getting is the MAC, like, these ones. This one is the Girls Prissy Princess one. I think there's a few other, like, in the Girls line. And I just, I don't like it. Like, I just much prefer, like... With, especially with MAC, just having like the pans or the clamshells and just being able to like interchange. I don't really like the palette. I especially don't like how it's not all like one size either. Oh, it just grinds my gears with my OCD. Ooh. Another thing that I will not be getting is the Shantakai HD Perfecting Loose Powder. Now, there's a few reasons why I'm not getting this product. First of all, it's $100. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot more things that I could do with $100 than buy like a really, really fancy smancy loose powder. Second reason why is I hate the packaging. Like I hate how like there's a little brush with the loose powder. Like eventually one day I'd like to try that La Mer powder, which I know is really, really pricey, but it's like in the loose like jar thing instead of like this. I just, ugh, this just, it just seems dirty to me. Ugh. Another thing that I will not be getting is the Smashbox Studio Skin shaping foundation stick so basically you got your foundation on one end and your contour shade on the other end it's 61 dollars here in australia and i don't really like stick foundations to begin with and i just feel like like i saw it in store and you don't get that much product and i feel like for the price that you pay it's too little product i don't know that's just my personal preference i think it's too pricey and then another thing that i'll not be getting oh my god i feel like this is so negative but it's just the truth you know like these are things that I'm just not buying and why. But one thing that I'll not be getting, and it's just like, I just don't like it. Like, I just don't like the concept of it. I don't like it. It's the Smashbox Be Legendary Triple Tone Lipstick. So basically, it is a lipstick where you have three colors and it like kind of like ombres from light, middle to dark. And I just, I don't like that concept. Like, I would much just prefer to buy a lip liner and a lipstick and then just kind of like, or like a liquid lipstick or like a whatever lipstick and just kind of mash them together instead of having them all in the one stick it's just all in the one stick just weirds me out mm. i don't know i know a lot of these products are just me not buying them because they weird me out but like i can't be the only one that thinks like this man like surely there is somebody else out there that thinks the same as me like in terms of this makeup packaging like ugh. Okay guys, so that is all the products that I have to show you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and definitely don't forget to press that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. It seriously means so much to me. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!